Hey, how's it going? Welcome to One Minute Tutorials. Today is all about coloring tracks. So the easy way to color tracks is to select one track or a bunch of tracks, right click, go to track color, and then I can set it to any custom color that I want like that and you're done. Slightly better way is to set some commands to it if you do this a lot. So I have tracks set to one random color assigned to F7. So if I hit F7, it'll just select a random color. I can also do it to multiple tracks, tap, 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 tap until something I like pops up. I also have a bunch of commands on my toolbar so you can right click on any toolbar go customize toolbar add and then add any action you want to it comes here you can right click on it you can search for color and you'll get a bunch of stuff so let's choose this one and close it save and now it's in my toolbar so again I can select my tracks pop 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 that works as well the most kind of automatic way is if you have SWS installed you go to extensions you go to auto color layout icon and and then here I got a bunch of rules. So for example, every rule is about a track marker or region. So for example, if I call anything bass, it will be yellow. If I call anything drums, it will be red. If I make a new track, call it bass, boom, new track, call it drums, automatically colors it. So the way to create a rule is you go here, add rule, it comes to the bottom. Let's call this goat. Then I right click here, set color, and let's make this really purple and then close it. And then it automatically colors those and if I create a new track boom like that so that's it for today thanks for watching if you have any questions regarding Reaper Pro Tools Logic Pro Ableton SWS anything with audio recording or whatever it is let me know and I'll make you a tutorial in one day bye bye